Hi everybody, Rich here. This video is going to cover how to manage files and images in your app. If you recall from the overview, files and images are stored separately from your main data structure in your app itself. So when you add tables to your app, each table that you're adding is connected to some spreadsheet or database or other service that AppSheet can connect to. And then you have the ability after you connect to that data sources to select a file store for storing files and images. And that can be found under store for image and file capture. And by default, if you use Google, that'll be Google Drive, Microsoft will be OneDrive. In this case, the file store I'm using in this app is Google Drive. So you can see here, I made a quick app that allows you to select the image and then upload accordingly. Once the app receives the image from the user, AppSheet's going to, AppSheet's going to store that file into the root folder of your file store. So in this case, if we look at the, the data structure here, we could see that I uploaded this file here. That was an image type and the default location to where AppSheet stores a folder is going to be in your root store and the name of the folder is going to be the name of your app followed by an underscore and then the type of file that you're uploading whether it's an image type or in this case there's a file type as well so that's your default storage location and that's how you can go find those images once they get uploaded via an application so if we're to jump over to the Google Drive folder, I could see that corkboard image available along with the other images that were uploaded via the app in this files and images app underscore images folder. Now, let's say I didn't want AppSheet to store the file in this location. I can go back to the app itself and find the column that is acting as my image or file capture store and open the column attributes and under type details, I'll see that there's a field here called image file folder path. And in this field, I could input a formula that can either generate a, you know, a static folder path such as this. So I could come in here and create a new directory if I wanted to. We'll call this custom folder location, for example. And then when I upload, when I upload images to the application, then the images will go to that, that location itself. I'm going to go ahead and sync. And then in the table itself, we'll see that AppSheet stored that in that folder, custom folder location with the generated file name. So if I were to go into Drive and navigate to that custom folder location, you'll see the image that gets stored here. In addition to getting uh, having static folder locations, you can also generate dynamic folder locations as well using uh, any field values from your table or any functions in the uh, AppSheet formula system. So if I wanted to maybe create, maybe I wanted to store images by month or files by month, I could come in here and add a formula that captures the month that I'm currently in and stores it in that folder. So this is an example of I'm going to put it into a custom folder location and then there'll be another folder where I can add um, where it'll be broken down by month. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and find another image to upload. So with that image uploaded, we can now see that not only do we store that image in a, a custom folder location, we also stored it in a folder for the month value. And likewise, we can see that folder that was created in the custom folder location called 11. So using these concepts, you could kind of take that a step further as well. If you needed to migrate images over to other folders, you know you can modify the path here in the data set accordingly, and then make sure that you update your application to retarget a location that you want those images to be stored. So with that, please leave any questions in the comments below and have a good one.